to manage this generation well. So I'm going to hold aside the, the folks that I've kind of listed as maybe not quite where they need to be. Uh, there's some amazing things about this generation that if we just make a few little tweaks, you can unlock all their potential and make a huge difference. Okay. And so the first thing I would say is, so we've, we've got four here. So the first one I would say is clear expectations. Clear expectations. is, is it, And they ask for this, and we hear uh, talk about purpose. I want to know that there's purpose mm -hmm. in my mm -hmm. job. What they're really asking for here is I want to know exactly what's expected. What am I supposed to be doing? Why am I doing it? And folks, that is a very reasonable expectation. As a manager, if you're not doing that, you're not doing your job. You should be doing that. And it's not unfair for them to ask that. I want to know kind of what am I supposed to be doing and what's the path? Yeah. What's my purpose here? What's my pa purpose here mm -hmm. and what's mm -hmm. my path? They, they, they like to know the path. Now, we know today in the workplace, paths have gotten really messy. It's not a career ladder. It's more of a career lattice. So, But that's okay. Spend time with them on that. Don't shy away from it. Don't make up stuff. Just be direct and honest. Hey, there isn't really a ladder, but let's talk about a lattice. Let's talk about how to set you up for the next opportunity, whether that's here or somewhere else. So clear expectations is one. Okay, that's the first one. Second, flexibility. Provide this, these folks flexibility. Don't be so old school to say you got to come in and work in the office from eight to five. And the first person in is the one who gets all the, all the props. And the last person in, we're going to, you know, label her bad, whatever. That's silliness. Just focus on what the work needs to get done and give them flexibility to do it on their own schedule. Yeah. This is a creative bunch. They don't need a lot of oversight. Give them that flexibility. Okay. So, so they want to work at a coffee shop and work at a coffee shop. They don't have to be in the office. Now, there's some times when you may say, no, we all need to come together to talk. A and, and that's fine, but don't make it rigid. So flexible in terms of that work environment. The third of my fourth is um, often not talked about enough, and it's embrace uniqueness. Mm 